Hello there, my name is Ronnie, and today I'm going to teach you, by request, um, how to listen to very, very fast English, native English speakers um, when they put two little tiny words together to make bigger words. This will help you for your listening a lot. A lot of people say, Ronnie, how can I improve my listening? This is one way. The other thing that this will improve is your fluency. So if you find that you're not being able to speak uh, very fast in English, if you can master these, you will be able to increase your listening and your fluency all in one easy step. So the very, very first thing that we're going to look at is the word gonna. Can you repeat that? Gonna. Then we have wanna. Wanna. <clears throat> Next we have gotta. And then have to. Maybe you have heard gonna before. Does anyone know what it means? Gonna. Gonna means going to. So when we speak naturally in English, we say, um, I'm gonna go to the movies or I'm going to go home. We would never say, I'm going to go home. Say, I'm going to go home. Going to go. Okay? So, going to go is going to plus go. You don't have to use go. You can use any other verb. The next one, wanna. If this is going to, what do you think wanna means? It means want to. So I can say I want to eat pizza or I want to see a movie or I want to go home. I want to go home. You could say it like that. Um, so instead of saying want to, I want to go to the movies, we say I want to go to the movies. I want to see a movie. Okay. The next one is gotta. Gotta is very, very strange the way the grammar works out in this one. This is actually I have. Now, this is grammatically incorrect. We should say I have got to. We say gotta. So we say, I gotta go, I gotta have, I gotta learn, I gotta learn English on English, okay? And the last one is have to, we say have to. So, instead of saying I have to go, you can say I have to go, all right? So. What you have to remember, oh, I said have to, see how natural that was, is in English, we change the word plus two, and we just change it to an A. Sometimes we put ta, sometimes we put na. There's no rule for using ta or na. These are just one, two, three, four, five words that you can remember, gonna, wanna, gotta, have to, that have two at the end. There's some more. Excited? Um, these are um, modals in English. We have coulda, shoulda, woulda, and musta. Musta. So these are actually how we say things like this. <laughs> Wow, that's a far stretch. So instead of saying could have, oh, I could have gone to the movies, we say, I could have gone. Instead of saying should have, we say should have. This is we use for when we've made a mistake. Like, oh, man, I should have gone to the movies. 
Why didn't I go? This one, can you guess what this one is? We say woulda, but it should actually be would have. And the last one is the modal must, must have. So we say would have, we say woulda, and must have, we say must have, musta, musta, musta. So, when we use the modals, we never say have, we say ah. Very strange. And the last two are kind of fun. Um, I see this word a lot in TV commercials when they're advertising something that has a lot of something. So, they'll say stuff like lots of tomatoes or lots of money Ooh. or lots of pizza. Lots of is actually a lot of. We totally take out the A and we change lot of to lots of. I don't know why we put the S. I have no idea. And this one, does anyone know what this one might be? This one is sort of. Sort of means like a little bit. Or another thing that we would say is kind of, or kind of. They're the same thing. So you can say, I sort of want to go to the movies, or I kind of want to go to the movies. It's not 100%. It's like you're thinking about it. So sort of and kind of basically have the same meaning. They mean sort of or kind of. Kind of. And these basically just mean a little bit. Well, now that you've heard this lesson, go to the website, Ingvid, because I gotta go. Bye bye.